So, okay, here we go. Uh, let's, let's see the masterpieces. And I want to hear from everybody. Here's Kenny's. The clips with her talking weren't supposed to be of her talking. They were supposed to be her voice on Bruce saying, oh, I was walking to Ace and I got these cat calls. And <laughs> I was, that was my whole purpose. So uh, that's not the way it was supposed to be. OK, let's go to Mr. Troy. So there's Bruce, and kind of like uh, that little close-up through Bruce's eyes. Here comes this, this education, right? And it was supposed to be underlaid over the soundtrack, you know? And then there's Bruce kind of winding everything up, but he looks around, and it's this prison ride going on with the seagulls. There's seagulls versus the geese with the ducks. Right? <laughs> so this is Jesse, OK. When I first started shooting this footage, I really had I wasn't doing anything coherent. But as I started looking at it, I noticed that uh, we see these things every day. We used to see these little signs right here, and just the place itself. You know, it, it's a real place that most people don't even realize. You know exactly what it is. They they think okay, it's prison. That's where the bad people go, or whatever. There's a whole lot more to it. But no, I'm I'm all right with it. You know, my first try, I think I did all right. Ernesto, here we go. I just wanted to show, like, the process. You know, you come in, you walk through the fence, you go up the stairs, and, like, people live, people come back in, and they got you. And then that pipe I just liked. I like smoking. That's it. Oh, Lonnie, Lonnie's on this one. Great. Every day you have different uh, activities. You have tennis going on. Sometimes you have baseball, but today, since it's wintertime, there's no baseball. But today you just have fellas just coming basketball. You know, basketball is a multi-million dollar sport. People get 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars. What I was thinking about was that even in prison, guys are just playing just as hard. It's the same kind of enthusiasm for the game, and they're not getting a dime. I wanted to capture the passions and the feelings and the sights and sounds of the game. <laughs> I like the way how smooth it went. You see him play for a little bit, then you interview him one dude. You show him he's talking. And then he disappears, and you still hear him talking, and they playing basketball. So that and it went smooth. So that was pretty cool. All right, the vision of Marvin. It's not like you wake up one day in the morning and you know say I'm gonna come to prison. It's just something you work at, I guess. You know, it's the lifestyle you live, the people you hang with. I just wanted to get that stuck in your head, like this is prison. When he said, you know, disassociate myself from the people I hang with, I kind of cut it to his friend, and he, like, looking around. So it's basically kind of give you, like, indication, like, the person he's standing right next to is, like, you know, he said, well, I got to stay away from him. But because I'm in prison, this is who I have to hang with. Cool. OK. Tulio? So I was trying to capture the environment where we were and the fact that there's a lot of things going on. I thought the best way was to just kind of show some keys, so like the plants and like the, that sign that they're relevant. And then what somebody else is doing at the same time that we were preparing to uh, go out and film. So I was trying to make it seem like these were happening simultaneously. I was actually pretty, pretty happy with how everything turned out. Nice. You did a good job, man. I am jealous. Good job, Tulio. Here we go, Chris's vision. I give my blood to see my people stop pitching slugs at one another because really hate is the sickest love. A vicious cycle. People live for specific titles. People that live together. Ah, I gotta go. What I wanted to do was just basically catch major scenes like the bus has just came in. Um, people was against the wall. Then I saw the American flag and dude behind his back. Everybody know when you come in, they tell you put your hands behind your back and, and face the um, bus. So I wanted to catch that. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Last but not least. Sir Buckshot. I think it pretty much speaks for itself. I like the goose waddling over it, and then the cemetery shot. The goose is getting fed, but, you know, we're all going to die in the end anyway. It can be funny, too, you know? And it can be uh, serious. I've um, obtained a lot of knowledge since I've been incarcerated. I like the end where it's just silent yeah, in North Block. I like when you capture the scene, it was like they're watching us even when we die. You know, yeah. it's like the graveyard there, and we still got a tower over that. So, you know, it, that's what I got from that. It was big right there. And then the silent part at the end, that killed it. Yeah. That killed it right there. After watching all you guys' stuff, I could have done more with mine than I actually thought. Now I know, you know, I mean, I used my imagination a little bit more. I could have had something, you know, that was. Like watching other people's, to me, mine wasn't all that fluid. 
I feel like I learned from everybody else who's been watching mine. I think it's cool because we're all just starting, you know, it's all right. I was totally scared to let people see my video. I was like, it was like releasing your baby into the world. I was like, I don't understand. They're going to criticize them. They're going to beat them down. And I think that if anything that we can walk away with is that to work with what we got and to always be able to piece together a work of art out of what we have. I know if everybody had even a half hour more, your, pay, your pieces would be totally different. But time isn't something that we have that much of. And I'm really impressed with what I've seen. You guys did this in five days. 10 days ago, we weren't even here. It's only going to get better. So if you guys can live with that, then hey, man, we're going to live a really long time. You guys are making a movie, and it's gonna be awesome, man. You know, I need you guys to believe that. You guys need to believe that. Just say it's gonna be 